something I've noticed on Ubuntu. Maybe it's just the recent versions, I don't know, but the, the PC speaker, the hardware bleep, isn't there anymore. So when it gets to the beginning of the line, there's no beep. The reason for that I found, if you check, the, the, you know, the, the mod probably blacklist.com, the modules that are blacklisted, there's the file slash x modprod.d blacklist.conf. You can actually see that somebody has reported it as some sort of annoying, <laughs> ugly and loud noise getting on everyone's nerves. This should be done by a nice pulse audio beam. Fucking bullshit. And it's actually blacklisted. So people have reported this as some sort of bug rather than in the setup saying, you know, do you want the PC speaker? Yes or no. It's just blacklisted it, not told anybody. So by commenting it out there, you can enable it again. Save the file. And um, what you want to do is uh, update init RamFS both in you, and then on the next reboot it will be enabled. But um, before reboot, you can just uh, mod probe, mod probe PC speaker, and then when you press backspace, you will have that glorious PC speaker hardware sound. So you know it's useful because um, if you're doing SSH, let's say to Japan. Uh, which I've done, I do quite a few times, and you're at the beginning of the line in SSH, you'll press backspace and there'll be a delay, and then you'll hear a little bleep, so you know the server hasn't froze or hung, and you can, okay, I'm there, and it's just a delay, it's not it's not hung, you know. Um, also, for instance, this is a IBM PS2 interface keyboard, this Japanese one, this is a USB keyboard, this is plugged in the PS2 interface there, and then the black keyboard's in USB. If I hold backspace, on this PS2 keyboard, which you can hear how fast that is. If I hold back space on the USB one, you see it's a slightly different sound. What's happening is the USB keyboard is polling so many times a second saying, have you pressed a key, have you pressed a key, have you pressed a key? And then it reads from the keyboard, oh yeah, I've pressed a key after it's polled it. Whereas the PS2 interface gives a direct hardware interrupt to the processor. So when you press a key on this keyboard, it actually sends the signal to the processor. It's given priority and it interrupts anything and it says, right, I've pressed a key, do something according to whatever key you've pressed. So it's handy for gaming and also server applications. And, you know, you can hear how fast it is there compared to... There's a different sound. I don't know if you can notice on the video. Uh, it's also handy for if the system is hung. Let's say the system's hung and the USB control or something's gone wrong with it. On Linux, you can run... Uh, you can hold the keys Alt... Sys, uh, system request, so SYSRQ, and then you know, uh, S to sync the disks, uh, U to remount, and then O to, to power off. And um, if there's something wrong with the USB controller or whatever, that won't work, and you'd be left with a hung system. Whereas with the PS2 direct interrupt keyboard, it's actually sending the signal. So, in, in some cases, some rare cases, the PS2 IBM interface keyboard will be much more beneficial in uh, getting out of a system hang, uh, killing processes, shutting down safely even after a hang, whereas the USB controller may be uh, compromised or something, and the USB keyboard would be useless in that case. So yeah, the PC bleep, it's not an ugly and loud noise, and who the fuck uses Pulse Audio, especially on the TTY console before you're even invoking XOR. Nobody fucking has Pulse Audio running. There's no nice little bing going ding, no, there's, you want the hardware bleep because it's handy. And also, let's say if you're building, um, you're compiling code, I've noticed a lot of times when I'm compiling code, when it's finished compilation, you'll get a hardware bleep. So it's handy if you're making a coffee or doing something else in the background, and then after 15 minutes, if you're compiling a large program, you'll hear the beep, and you think, oh, that's done. Whereas if this thing's blacklisted like these bastards have done, you won't know that, you have to keep checking it, and you know, Maybe you don't run Pulse Audio. A lot of people hate Pulse Audio. I hate Pulse Audio. I just use Elsa, which is, you know, the back end. All you need is Elsa. You don't need Pulse Audio in most cases. So, yeah, that's how you enable the hardware beep on Ubuntu, and this is where they've disabled it. And that is their reason. Ugly and loud noise, so it's stupid. Yeah.